This is the DSM 500 digital survey meter. It is the newest generation of our radiation survey meters. It uh, features a large backlit digital display, uh, rate meter function, and scalar function. And it gives you the choice of fast or slow response via this switch. And we have our speaker switch to turn the audio on and off, a zero switch. And here's where we switch from counts to dose. There's a, an optional RS-232 data port on the back for interface with your PC. The survey meter is compatible with all of our probes. We have a wide array of energy compensated GM probes, uh, sidewall GM probes, uh, sodium iodide scintillation probes, plastic scintillation probes, which make the survey meter a nice micro R meter. We have an alpha scintillation probe, and today we're going to use our Pancake GM probe for the demo. First we're going to turn it on to the rate meter function, making sure it's in the dose mode. Uh, wait for that to zero. Turn the backlight on for nice readability. And I'm going to turn the speaker on to give you an idea of the audio. And I'm going to turn that off because the source will make it alarm. I'm going to place the source on top of the window on the Pancake GM probe. You see we have a nice response in micro R per hour. We can easily switch to CPM. So switch that back to dose because of the loud alarm. And now we're going to check out the scalar function, which will give you either total accumulated dose or total accumulated counts over a period of 60 seconds. And that interval is adjustable in the calibrations. So we're going to turn the dial to count. It will zero itself, and it will give us the total in approximately 60 seconds. Today we're not going to wait, we're going to have a look inside of the survey meter. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to remove the cable and we take the housing off to recalibrate the instrument to change the units to SI units or to change the batteries or to make other adjustments and it's very easily done. There's two aspects on each side Open that, take the housing off, and there's the battery pack for 200 hours nominal. And here is our digital microprocessor circuitry. And under the third circuit board is a switch. And you would switch that with a small screwdriver. You can switch that from CPM to CPS. And you can, on the other side, you can switch from REM to Sieverts. That was our demo for today. Um, feel free to contact us if you have any questions or if you have any price inquiries. Thanks for watching and have a good day.